Hey everyone, for this video, we're going to take a look at Deco Network's new production status feature. The new production status feature lets you create your own custom production statuses, making production management a breeze. We also have great help articles that cover this topic, so I'll leave those links in the description below for you guys to check out. With that out of the way, let's get started. To set up your own production statuses, navigate over to settings, then production and order settings, and finally click on production statuses. As you can see, I already have a few custom production statuses created. Let's go ahead and add a new status. So start off by clicking add production status from the top right corner. Okay, so on this screen, you can enter the name of your custom status. I'm going to name mine as create film. Next, I'll unselect the all processes box. Then I'll only leave screen printing selected. This will make the new status to only apply for the screen print process. Towards the bottom of the page, you can choose your text color and background color. Hit save once you're done with your edits. Great, as you can see, the new production status of create film has now been added. Using the up and down arrows, you can also set the order of your production statuses with the very top being the first in the production line. Now that you have your custom product statuses created, the statuses will automatically get applied to the specific decoration methods you've set for them. Additionally, you can set the production statuses on a product default level and add an individual product level as well. Let's take a look at what that looks like at a product default level first. Now that we're at the product default page, click into any of the categories, then click production statuses. The production statuses we built earlier are displayed here. We can toggle on or off on any of the statuses on a product default level. So now let's take a look at some of the same options but on a per product level. I'm just going to navigate over to my product and click on the first product. Now that we're in the product settings, click into product statuses on the left menu. Very similar to the product defaults, you can toggle on or off on any of the statuses on a per product basis as well. Now that we have the setup portion out of the way, let's take a look at the production statuses in action within Business Hub. Okay, so with Business Hub now open, let's go right into the production area by clicking production in the left navigation. A couple new things to note here. You now have a production status column followed by the color coded statuses we previously created. If we click into one of these production statuses, we get a drop down menu listing all production statuses available specifically for this order. As production stages are completed, you can easily move the order into the next stage in production. Additionally, you can click into any of the orders in production, and the production status for the order will display at the top of the page for you. Same as in the production overview screen, you can easily move the order into the next stage in production by clicking the status button that's available at the top of this page. If you move back into the original production overview screen, you'll find that the production status has been updated for the order as well. And that's it. Just to recap, the latest Deco Network update has introduced the new production statuses feature and it is now available within your Deco Network account. If you guys like this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, leave your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video.